Well, too bad we can't paint in New York Botanical Gardens now. We have to paint where we can, go outside safely. But let me take you virtually to the Rose Garden for a painting I did there a couple years ago. Hi, I'm James Gurney at the New York Botanical Gardens. I'm going to do a painting of the Rose Gardens, which are in perfect bloom right now, in Casein. The Rose Garden at the New York Botanical Garden is huge, with many different varieties of roses, all different colors. I choose some off to the side a bit that are white and pink, and I'm using a white gessoed board. Can you see okay from where you are? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. So that I can work transparently to lay in the colors. I'm using casein, but I might as well be painting with acrylic or gouache or oil because the technique I would use would be really very similar. So if you don't use casein, you can still use these same methods as you're painting. The advantage of the whiteboard is that I'm going to get more natural variations while it's in the transparent stage. So I laid a light pink wash over the whole thing and then I'm breaking that up and defining that a little bit more. By knocking it down in most places below white, I can come back to white with opaques later. The green leafy background I'm grouping together to more or less a single value so that I can concentrate my attention more on the flowers and, and their f smaller forms. But I'm still trying to link those masses together into a larger shape. I can divide up to the smaller petals later. Throughout the three hours or so that I'm painting, the flowers are opening up in the summer heat. Some of the ones that started as buds have fully opened by the end of my session. Now by adding darker colors around the edge of the petals, I can get some accents and define areas, but I want to be careful not to cut out the shapes too much. If I were working in oil, it would be much easier to play with the soft edges. With casein or gouache, the tendency is to get a lot of hard edges. The way I try to deal with people passing by, most people just want to take a picture or say a few nice words. I try to reserve 10% of my brain to talk to them and engage with them, but still stay focused as much as possible on the painting. <laughs> it's, uh, it's beautiful. It's perfumed. We are uh, we're right in the... We're not in the middle. The harpist is in the middle. We are at the gate um, with the pink roses over the gate. <laughs> I, think there's three gates. I like to go down to some smaller details, like in these spent alliums. They provide a contrast to the size of the shapes on the roses. People stop to ask questions as I'm painting. That's what I'm saying, they start to open, yeah. Sometimes they want to know about the flowers or about the paint technique I'm using, or they just want to know where the bathroom is. It's such a universal to appreciate the beauty of roses. And from kids to adults, from people of all different countries, these flowers are such a vision of beauty for people. Thank you. You're welcome. One thing that happens from time to time is people will ask to pose with my paintbrush in their hand to pretend that they're doing the painting. And I usually indulge that request, although it can be a bit of a pain if too many people in a tour group ask. Oh, there you go. Oh, 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 o
<laughs> okay, your turn. <laughs> Artist. All right. Yeah, thank you. Of all the events that the New York Botanical Garden hosts, my favorite is the Plain Air Invitational because it gives artists a chance to set up and to pick one little corner of the universe and try to make sense of it. If you enjoyed this video, there's a lot more fun stuff. You can check out my website or subscribe to my channel. Here's a video that's got more stuff like you just saw, and then a playlist if you want to sit back and enjoy. So thanks for watching. Rolling. Hi, I'm James Gurney. I'm at the New York Botanical. Oh, there's a motorcycle. We'll do the tape.